All right, how's it going, y'all? Today we're back in Azu Store, and this time we're going to be going over how to set up an Azu Store NAS as a time machine destination for your Macs. And this can operate with multiple Macs on your network, and so all of them are always backing up to this, and it gives you so much flexibility in case you lose a file on your hard drive and you need it back. And this gives you not just one version of it, but many all throughout time. And so if you make a corruption to the file or even just don't like an edit you made to a photo, you can go back into your time machine and literally turn back the clock and basically grab that file how it was anytime there was a snapshot taken of your time machine. It's one of the best features of having a Mac, but the thing is, for most people who have it on an external hard drive, it requires them to plug in the hard drive every once in a while. And as anybody knows, backups are only good if you're using them. And so most people just forget to plug in that hard drive and then six months go by and they don't have any backups. One of the best things about having it on a NAS like this is you can set up where it's anytime you're on your home's Wi-Fi, it's just silently in the background, backing up your computer, which means you don't have to remember to do it and it's just done all automatically. It is so nice to have because you're gonna forget about it until you need it, which is exactly what a backup solution should be like. All right, so to set this up, it's incredibly easy. The first thing we're gonna go ahead and do is log into Azu Store, and we're first going to create a shared folder and a user account for every single Mac you like on the network to have a time machine backup. And so this way, everything's just nice and sectioned off. And so to do that, we're first gonna go ahead and create a new account under Access Control, and we're gonna go ahead and create a new user. And so we'll create a new user for every single Mac we'd like to back up. So let's just say it's Mac one for the first one, and give it a password. And so just go ahead and create an account for every single one of them. And do not make it an admin. So it's just gonna be a regular user. And so what we'll do is we'll deny access from all the shared folders, and then we'll create this new shared folder and we'll give it access to that. Because all it needs access to is one single shared folder. And so now that that's created, all we have to go down to is right here under shared folders, and we're gonna go ahead and click add. And we'll go ahead and just give it a name. We'll call it Mac, Mac one time machine. We don't need a time machine or encryption because I'd really recommend encrypting on the Mac side. It's just a lot easier and select whatever volume. You probably just have one volume though. And now we're gonna go ahead and say who has access to it. So we're gonna say by user. And so we're gonna say that only Mac has access to it. And so we're gonna give read write to that Mac user and that's really it. And so now what we need to do is actually set up AFP. So to do that, we're gonna go ahead and go into services and we're going to go into Mass Mac OS X. As I said in my last Azu store video, I don't recommend using AFP for regular file access. I actually really prefer using SMB on a Mac because it just works a lot better and you don't have weird file permission issues when you're on AFP versus when you're on SMB for Windows machine, I just recommend everybody use SMB. But in this case for Time Machine, Azu Store only allows you to set up Time Machine on a Mac OS X AFP share. So we're gonna go ahead and set that up and we're just gonna go ahead and say enable Mac file service AFP. And we're just gonna go ahead and click enable Time Machine support. And so go ahead and select it. And now we're gonna go ahead and click apply. And so now we're basically good to go. So now all we have to do is go into Time Machine. I've already got the icon up here, but I'll just go into system preferences in case you don't have the icon. And we're going to go into Time Machine. And it's incredibly easy to set up. All you need to do is tick backup automatically and select disk. I've got a few different options here, but this is on the Azu store. So we're gonna select it, and I would really recommend encrypting backups, but if you don't care to, that's your choice. And so now we're just gonna select use disk, and I've got this from another tutorial. And so now it's connecting, and it's going to ask us for a username and password in a second here. And so it just did a weird thing there, but now it's connected. And so now we're going to say that Mac1 which was that username, and we're going to go ahead and enter the password for that. And so now we're going to create a backup password and encrypt it. Now, one thing to note, if you do lose that password, you will not be able to recover any of your files, so your backups will be pretty much useless. So that's just one thing you need to remember and make sure that it is a password that you can remember. For most people, I would actually recommend a little bit less secure of a password for this just to make sure you can always get it. 
because if you lose this password, your backups are completely toast. And the cost benefit analysis and the probability that somebody's going to be able to brute force their way into this backup in case they do get it is honestly pretty low. Now this obviously depends on what your security needs are and what you're storing on your Mac and how sensitive it is, but just make sure you've got access to it. And so now it's just gonna go ahead and back up and I'm not gonna wait for it to go through the entire thing, but we're gonna go ahead and click back up now to make sure that it starts off and it keeps running. All right, and so as you can see right here, it is now gonna go through and back up my entire hard drive. And it is just that easy. I'm on a desktop, so there's no battery. But if I was on a laptop, there would be an option in here to say backup when on battery. And so that's up to you if you wanna waste the energy. It doesn't take that much when you're on battery power, or you can just only ever have it back up when you're actually plugged in. All right, and so that's it. It's really just that easy. That's gonna be it for this video. Go ahead and leave any other tutorials you'd like to see me make in the comments below, especially Azu store ones. And have a good one. Bye.